There's something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down On 98 acres and the actual footprint of their uh, building and facility is 50 acres, so it's rather large. So that's the proposal that they made back in December of okay. last year. Uh, All right. Something that uh, they're talking to our town council about possibly bringing to our area. All right. Do you know, do you see benefits to them coming? Um, well, that's the thing. We have, uh, there are several of us that have uh, a lot of worries and concerns about it. Um, as far as benefits go, uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't say that I see a lot of benefit from it because I will be living quite close to it, and I'm not really excited about that. But in February, I did talk to their representative. Her name's Helen Monroe, and she's been sent to Morristown to answer our questions. Uh, I guess I had some issues because she did report to the Shelbyville News that she, this plant, when completed, would offer 25 or 30 full-time jobs to our community. But when I questioned her on that in person, she said, well, that's maybe a little bit of an overestimate, maybe more like eight or nine jobs. And then when talking to other towns that have such facilities, they've told us, yeah, maybe eight or nine, but they're very uh, advanced positions, you know, people that have gone to school in engineering for these positions and have, you know, extensive years of uh, background in this type of work, so I don't see that it's going to bring a lot of uh, local um, jobs to our area. Um, and then she also talked about the construction phase, uh, said that for the almost two years while they're building, it's going to be pretty rough on our town, a lot of damage to our roads, a lot of noise, a lot of trucks in and out. Wasn't real excited about that but, either. But, but maybe the flip is, I mean, the positives, those people have to eat somewhere, right? True. Restaurants, things True. like that. That's one thing you could say. Good gas. So yeah. to, go, to go that way. Um, I guess maybe it sounds scary because it's, you know, when you hear power plant, mm -hmm. you think of the Simpsons. That's what we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Which, ironically, yeah. the town, a couple towns over from the Simpsons is Shelbyville. That's right. You know, this is true. <laughs> I was just this like, why does that remind me of the Simpsons for so much? <laughs> but it's 900 megawatts with a 50 acre footprint on 98 acres. Yeah. Um, so I think one thing that you actually have a Facebook page, which is called uh, Stop Tanaska Power Plant, Morristown. Okay. And we do have a lot of information on there. Uh, I've talked with uh, different environmental groups, and I've been in, in contact with Texans Against Tanaska. I've also been in contact with Taylorville, Illinois, who recently ran Tanaska off. They were proposing okay. a coal fire plant there. Uh, so they're giving us a lot of information, a lot of background to feed off of, questions to ask. One right. of the things I, that I had told you earlier was uh, when I talked with Tanaska in person, they told us that typically when they build a plant this size, they put it on four or 500 acres, kind of out in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. with a buffer zone. And that's another thing that we're concerned about is it's going to be sitting right here. Yes, it's in the industrial park, but it's right beside town. So and the industrial park, you actually drive through Morristown, right? <laughs> you, and you, you go know. up the hill, am I, mm -hmm. am I right? Then, right. And then, then, and then what? And there sits the industrial park on 500, which is right on the edge of town. Okay. Mm -hmm. left right or, at the top of the hill. Left or right? Left for okay. you if you're coming in from um, Shelbyville or, you know, down 52. We're going towards Brookville Lake, it's going to be on your left. <laughs> See, that's how <laughs> yeah, I'm relative to everything. Yeah, that's exactly. Go, that's right. You would turn left. <laughs> up, go up the hill and it's to the left. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's like a little business there, someone's home, mm -hmm. log cabin thing. I don't know what yes. it is, but I always see that. Yes, that's right. She's probably thrilled, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure they're not excited. But, but you know, I think it just sounds scary. So well. Do you, do you think the communication, if you, I think that's your main problem is. Yes. And that's what we've been dealing with is we just wanted everyone to have all of their questions answered. We wanted everyone to have more information about this proposal because there are several that don't want to live near it. There are several that don't understand exactly what's going on. And so that started our whole mess with uh, the town and the council and the planning commission. They seem to not want us to speak. They uh, 
first came out and said we couldn't record at the town board meetings, which as we just spoke of earlier is right. uh, highly illegal uh, according to the open door law for the state of Indiana. So they did have to rescind uh, that motion. And uh, we are now allowed to record, of course, which we all do. Why did they want you to record? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They, uh, at one of the previous meetings, one of our um, neighbors was recording, and um, she knows her rights. She um, works for the press, and so she was just recording the meeting to have. Because uh, it's a lot of information just to, be to able take it to all document in. Document it. Right. And it's probably stressful to people, too. Right. To, to try to remember things. everything right. that we're going over, getting those answers. Um, they were. They didn't like that. The, well, what kind of things do they talk about in the meeting when they're talking about the proposal? See, we, that's another thing. They tell us, well, you guys know more about it than we do. And that bothers us as well because we want them to know what they're signing off, up for here. You know, if you're going to sign uh, on with this major, huge uh, industrial company, let's make sure we got all the facts straight, you know, before we just go and start signing some things. So they don't want, they didn't want us to record. And then, um, they deleted me off their Facebook page. When you say they, you are speaking of? Well, the person who is in charge of running the Facebook page is the town secretary. Um, I'm not sure who gave her. Uh, oh, is it the Morristown Council? Like, what's their Facebook page? I guess I'm trying to. Well, yeah, they have a Facebook page for the town. And from what we've been told, the town secretary is in charge of it. And um, the town attorney is the one that told her that she has the right to delete any person and any comment she wants. Okay. So Facebook. I know that darn <laughs> Facebook. So that's fine. So you got I, deleted? I did. Did it make you mad? Probably did, didn't it? I'm not You got blocked. I did get blocked. At or this blocked. point though, I think the main point was not Were you leaving comments or something? Is uh, that what happened? Probably. Uh, all I said was check out our page if you have questions. Okay. You know, check out the Stop to Naska page if you want your questions answered. But bam, they deleted me. Just for that. Just post. for that. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that's all it was. Oh yeah, that's all I said. And they deleted it. And that's fine. They, so they can delete. But when I filed a complaint with a public access counselor, they, they said, here's what you need to do. Ask them for those records. And uh, since they keep that as an uh, open page run by the town, they have to provide you records that show any activity on that page. And uh, they also uh, told me that uh, earlier in the month they did a reconvening of a meeting, and they did it um, in an illegal way. So the public access counselor for the state advised me to list that on my complaint and also the no recording rule. And so they said I was well within um, all of my um, legal stand clerk and the town attorney have to answer for that. It, it's just, it just all seems so suspicious. It's like we just want answers, we just want to get our information out, and they keep trying to silence us. So I, I don't know. So as a resident, you're just wanting answers. Yeah, we want answers and we want others to um have all the information. Um, of course, I'm like I said, I'm obviously not for it. There's several people that aren't for it, and there's some people who are for a power plant. Do you think if you had more of the facts and more communication, you might be for it? Um, in my situation, I'm not for it for many reasons. I don't know that they will be able to sway me. I think I do have a lot more information than a lot of them. I know that um, anytime you put any kind of power plant in, it's been known that it will reduce your property values within a two-mile radius. Well, that's our whole entire town, uh, oh. me included. So I would think people would have... Uh, because people don't want to live by a power plant. Yeah, yeah. No one wants to live by a power it plant. It sounds... I mean, it does sound scary. Yeah. And, and like I said, there's no buffers. But though. there might not be any scariness. It might just be an illusion in my head. Well, and you like know. I said, what we had talked about the water, that was an issue. Right. The emissions, they're not as bad as a coal-fired power plant, but there are still emissions. The noise, the lights. So there would be noise. Oh, yeah, there would be noise. So Tanaska told me, well, yes, you'll hear it, but... Uh, you could compare it to the soft hum of a refrigerator. Now, I kind of <laughs> doubt that, but that's what they Hey, my refrigerator doesn't hum at all. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> so, unless my hearing's bad from all the loud music over these years. But you know, that's one thing, too, that even I think about when you see the big windmills, mm -hmm. like when you drive up to Chicago. Right, yes. I would want one of those in my yard. Yeah. I'm always thinking, what if the blades fell off? And they do make noise. <laughs> yes, they do. They do. And they're not quiet. Any but kind of power. But people must not care. I mean, some people don't care. That's so. right. 
but it's, it's... And some don't, yeah. It's a real touchy issue. So what questions would you want answered in the perfect world? What, what, what answers do you want? What questions do you have? Well, and, and that's another thing. We've talked to Tanaska. Tanaska is coming to the next town board meeting. Well, what is that? And that is on September 11th. September 11th. Mm -hmm. at 7 is that open to everybody? Is that how that works? Yes, it's supposed to be. We're st still trying to get information as to if it's going, how the meeting's going to be set up so we know how many questions we can ask and, you know, but we're, we are, several of us are going to be there and uh, we do have quite a few questions for them and, and uh, I just want people to kind of think about it and just really make sure you know what's possibly coming to our town before it just turn around one day and there it is, it's already built. And to get the facts and the truth. Yes. That's your main mission. Yeah, just let people um, know about it and, and, and don't keep silencing us and trying to steal our yard signs and trying to... Had missing yards. This sounds... <laughs> Facebook stealing yard signs? All in Morristown. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it's in Finley, too? This well, like yeah, there's uh, nearby communities that are also concerned. Gwenville and I know uh, Freeport, Fountaintown, Finley, a lot of them. That's what Freeport... Actually, I've had people from Hancock County, which is just right over the line from us. They're pretty upset. They're putting up signs. They don't want to see or hear this either. So, so it's, big surrounding it's like area. the noise. And, I mean, it's a different thing. Maybe if they move farther out in the country. Yeah, if be. they were maybe out, like they say they normally do, out in the middle of a field somewhere with a buffer. All of the stuff that I've looked up online, most of their plants aren't even within a mile of a home, at least a half mile. And when they are that close, there's lots of trees, a lot of buffer to keep, you know, residents from being annoyed by it. But we don't have any of that there in our industrial park. So... We're going to see it. We're so, going to hear it. So in a perfect world, Sarah, you would want <laughs> what to happen? Well, in a perfect world, I would, uh, I don't, I think some people believe that I'm against uh, progress. I'm not against progress. I've told the town council, I know that it's an industrial park, and I want them to bring industries in that will bring jobs and that will benefit our community. I'm just not so sure that this huge power plant sitting right on top of town that's going to bring maybe eight or nine jobs is the answer. So I'm not saying, oh, let's halt everything. We don't want progress. I'm just saying, you know, let's really think about it before we just sign now, on for a power plant. And the flip side, do you think it would maybe help with as far as, like, taxes and things the business would well, pay? Because it's sort of big. Yeah, I think that they, they talk about it increasing the tax base. And I think a lot of uh, people that have been in Morristown even longer than I have are a little concerned about that because they were told that whenever Bungie or Central Soya was brought in and haven't seen any great improvements and are worried about our schools, don't see great improvements or come into our schools, kids are leaving the school and going to Hancock County or even Rush County or going into the Shelbyville schools. And so I think that a lot of people are a little bit skeptical of that as well. Well, great. Oh. September the 11th is a date for everyone to come out. Yeah, to the town board meeting. Yep. Do you know what time? It's at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. September 11th in Morristown. Yes. All right, and people can find you online at? We are at Stop Tanaska Power Plant Morristown on Facebook, and if you go to that page, you can get some more information that uh, we've been looking up for everybody. All right, great, and the links are on our Giant 96 page. So, Ms. Sarah Getty, appreciate you coming in. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And up next, we have the news with Mr. Johnny McCory here on Giant 96 Real Radio. Giant 96 Real Radio is WSVX AM. What a field day for the heat. Thousand people in the street singing songs and they carry inside. Mostly say hooray for our side. It's time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on.